welcome back. This is Baller's Kubo with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3, the bonus episodes. I am joined as always by my oniony squad of Abel, Noven, Bloon, and Sackman. Everybody is an onionite. Everybody is in the back row, and that's for a good reason. Because I do have them with the best equipment in the game. Everybody's got crystal uh, equipment, and I pretty much went down the line. Abel's got the strongest, then Novin, then Bloon, then Sackman. Not that it particularly matters, because everybody should be doing max damage all the time. I also have um, magic on everybody. Uh, Abel's gonna be uh, gonna be the one that shows off the the summons eventually. I I have not forgotten. I will show off the summons, but. Yeah, you know, that's not going to be this episode. Everybody else has pretty much as much powerful black and white magic as I thought I needed to, to get through this. Uh, well, okay, Bloom doesn't have any black magic, but still, that's not really important <laughs> because I'll be doing max damage with my sword. There, there we go. You know, Flare, Meteor, Arise. Yeah, this, this is pretty much my setup. Uh, what we need to do in order to go to the super secret su dungeon of the game with the highest level enemies in the game is we need to use Mognet profusely. Luckily I've already done that off screen because I got tired of doing that on screen. Let's see, which one is it? Alright, so here's the first one that we sent to the four old men which is who we need to talk to first. Here's the second one that we got back from them. Heroes and champions like us must stay in top shape. Eating and sleeping well are paramount. Now drop what you're holding and go outside and exercise. In other words, he's telling you to drop your DS and leave the game. He knows what we're trying to do. Damn you four old men. Damn it. Uh, what else have we got? Sea Voyage! We once went on a sea voyage when we were a bit younger. Halfway through the trip, we saw this huge shadow gliding alongside our ship. We don't remember exactly where, but it was impressive. And the last one we get from the four old men. Heroes are judged by the company they keep. Treat your friends well, and you'll be even closer to becoming true champions. After you get that fourth email. I keep on calling them emails. That fourth Mognet mails from uh, from the four old men. You need to start sending stuff to Alice, and you need to get four mails back from him. It has been a while since Father has gone, but Saroni is now flourishing in its newfound peace. You should visit us again sometime. Yeah. Then he talks about the Nautilus. How has the Nautilus served you so far? The engineers assure me that it will not budge an inch even when flying against the strongest gale then we get the legend there's no legend in Saronia that speaks of a star falling into the sea creating a great wave that swallowed the evils of the world and yes that is all they're going to tell you about how to get to this dungeon so I will meet you at the dungeon you do need the Nautilus for this so go back and get it Okay, uh, I have found the secret dungeon, and I have failed trying to beat this guy a couple times. So, I've had to change my setup just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I still have everybody in the back row. Uh, I did uh, equip everybody with ribbons. You carry those over from your, from your previous save file when you beat the game. So, you know, get them all. Uh, when you beat the game, come through here. You know, this is supposed to be a second time through the game type of thing. Uh, onion armor. Onion gauntlets, you get those off of uh, dragons, which is which are found in this dungeon, so how fun. Basically, this dungeon is halfway between the floating continent and the Dao continent. We need to go in here, and I am scared. I am so scared. Okay, let's go in to the question mark question mark question mark dungeon yeah there's like seaweed out there there's nothing to really show that this is anything important and we do have a random encounter in here you can fight the dragons you get red dragons yellow dragons and green dragons even from the back row I feel fine just attacking look at this ready max damage across the board max damage this is still going to take quite a bit of time, though. And I will use elixirs, because I have a lot of elixirs. Oh, not quite max damage. Why not? And he uses Thundaga. He gets two turns, because he's a boss. 
but just keep attacking, you know. Why why do anything else when you're doing max damage when you attack? Even from the back row. That is how strong it is to be an onion knight. Even Yeah. Especially when you have all the weapons that of course have able with the strongest ones, and then you know, down the line from there. But man. I, I mean look at that. He's he's barely doing any damage to us. This guy's supposed to be on par with the green dragon, if you remember the green dragon when we fought him in the crystal tower. Just not scary at all. At all. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. It should be this turn. There we go. Down he goes. For that battle, you get 14,666 skill, 15,000 experience, and an elixir, which I will use right now because I know what's coming up. With that done, let's head up here for a small little cutscene. Wow, I wonder how long it took nature to form a cave like this. Long, long time. Who cares? There's nothing here. Forget it. Let's get out of here. L l l label. <laughs> Do you know why he puts the L in front there? That's because he is trying to call Abel by the d default name, which is Luneth, and there's a programming error. They left the L in there instead of transferring the first letter. Anyway, label behind you. <laughs> what? You're too big to sneak up on people like that. Yes, yes, he is. This is the Iron Giant. This is by far the toughest enemy in the game. First things first, we are going to cast Protect. I do have Protect on everybody. No, you can't multi-select with Protect, and that pisses me off like you wouldn't believe. There's no reason not to let me do that. That's why I have to have everybody cast Protect on themselves, so we're not going to get any damage in right now. We are pretty much trying to protect ourselves, yeah, that's the whole point. Go Protect. Uh, because this guy, as you might expect, is pretty much all physical. He has physical attacks, he has physical defense, so we're going to want to use as much magic as we can. And of course he hits the one guy that I didn't put protect on. Of course he does. Of course he does. In, in comes Meteor, that doesn't do very much damage because of the protect. And then, you know, once you get protect and all the onion equipment and all the ribbons, that makes this fight a lot easier. Now, uh, you're going to want to use Flare on this guy. I'm still kind of scared. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use a... You know what? Let's use a Kiraga, because really there's not that much damage done across the bar, and you use a Flare. Uh, because he's strong against... Um, strong against physical attacks, you only do probably about 4,000 uh, compared to, to this kind of damage that you do with Flare. Which is pretty much max damage most of the time. Most of the time. There's a there's a randomness factor to it, definitely. Oh, uh, his physical attacks. If you don't have ribbons on, his physical attacks do uh, inflict silence and poison. So that's something you're going to want to avoid at all costs. Bring ribbons. <laughs> you will need the ribbons. This is not something that you can beat on your first... Playthrough. This is why this is a bonus video. Go Flair! Uh, he does have just under 200,000 HP. One under that, so 199,999. That is his HP, so bring as many flares as you possibly can. I don't have any flare. Why didn't I give you flare? That was not very smart of me. You just go for attack, you show off how bad attacking is against this guy compared to flare. Go, Flare! With the Protect and the Ribbons, it really does help, but you do need max defense because after a while he starts using more powerful attacks, and that's never a good sign. <laughs> yeah. This guy, if, if you don't know what you're doing, you are in for quite a hard time because as you can see, he gets four attacks per turn. You'll have to excuse me if I... Uh, repeat myself a little bit. Yeah, look at that. 2,000 damage. I mean, Flare is really where it's at. We'll try... We can try a Holy. I don't know how well it's going to do, but... Really, Flare. Just Flare, 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 Flare. Uh, let's see. I do need to Cure again, so I might as well do that. More Flare! <laughs> I require more Flare! It, 
I have recorded this probably more times than any other fight in this game. Is this guy? He is no pushover whatsoever. Uh, I finally found <laughs> found out. Oh yeah, I forgot that I had protect, and protect is really saving my ass. You would not even believe it. Usually, a regular attack did about. Um, 2,500, 3,000 damage, somewhere around there, I think it was. Now look at it, 700. That is how awesome Protect is. Just, just an insane amount. And then uh, Meteor usually did about, like, 1,800. I mean, with Protect, this guy is almost a pushover. It's almost sad, but it's not because I know how tough this guy really is. So let's keep using all the flares that I have. Uh, you go ahead and use... Holy, let's see how Holy does against this guy. Once again, I'm always disappointed with Holy in these games. Especially these early ones. I've always known Holy... Well, I knew Holy... Like I said, my first one was Final Fantasy VII, so I, I kind of base everything off of that. Holy was one of the best spells in the game. And this, like... It's, it's like level 6 or 7 black magic, and it, but it's considered the best in terms of white magic. I, I just don't get it. Don't get it. Now we should be getting close to the point where he starts busting out his stronger attacks. Meteor is not one of his stronger attacks, as you can see. He starts using an ability called Swipe. That's when we know we're getting close to finishing him off. How much does Holy do? 6600, not bad. I mean, it's no flair, but it's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and try Bio. I don't know how much Bio does. They are all out, right? Yeah. All of them are out, pretty much. Uh, you go ahead and Kiraga again. And, uh, we'll try a Quake. We'll see how Quake does. You know, I'm not trying to keep everybody at full HP all the time, but I, you know, I don't want them to get close to dying. <laughs> that's, that would be scary right there. 4,400, that's not that good to be honest with you uh, you know attacking from the back row it's still not it's still gonna be more really he quake misses that is pathetic all right yeah another thousand damage he's still not using the move though so we're still not where we need to be in terms of uh, getting close to finishing him off this is a long battle this is this is going to be a long video as I'm sure you guys already know holy crap bio the hell was with that bio compared to the other bio? I don't, I don't understand, game. I don't understand. Uh, go bio apparently. Bio is working him. If able casts it, I don't, I don't know the criteria here. Five thousand. I mean, that's more than what I can get from regular physical attacks. Holy crap! I don't, I don't understand why bio. Apparently, it has a huge range on it. Okay, there we go. Swipe. There's the, the ability I was waiting for. Now, I do need to heal everybody again, but that's really not going to be that big of a deal. He will be using Swipe, I believe, every time, uh, every turn from now on. Uh, you know, one swipe and three regular attacks after this point. But, but that does mean that we are getting very close to finishing him off. You go ahead and use Kiraja because, you know, why not? Uh, you go ahead and use Bio. Um, what, what else do I want to do here? Let's go for let's go for another Holy. And you go for another Bio, and that should work well for us. As long as the Kiraja goes off before his turn, like that, I should be I should be set. He should not be able to finish us off. But that is always a concern that he could get his turn in before your cure goes off. That is, that is, oh man. He's, he's taken me out a couple times by doing that. It is not cool. He's a dick when he does that. Okay. Oh, he gets one more. Damn, he's starting to, he's starting to get up there in damage. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but those, those numbers seem to be climbing over time. Another 3,200 damage. Okay, look, you go for a bio this time. Do you have Kiraja on you? You do. You go for it this time. Uh, you use your last holy. Uh, 
you just in case just in case the last thing I want to do is die at this point uh, this is this is working out so much better than any other of my run so far so I really do not want this to go badly for me anymore go Kiraja go holy and then hopefully actually hopefully his turn comes in here comes here in the middle oh down he goes down goes the iron giant Oh man, this is this is this is a tough fight. You get pretty much max gill. Well, not max. You get one more nine. So ten, you know, like eleven of these fights pretty much get you max gill. Nine 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 gill. Twenty four nine 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 experience. Why is this game obsessed with nines? I will never know. Phew. What was that thing anyway? The iron giant. I hate it. It certainly was a beast. Perhaps it is connected to the shooting star that King Alice spoke of. It doesn't matter. We beat it. Yes, we did. I guess we're getting stronger. Seriously? You can't get any stronger than you are now. You are the strongest. Indeed. I do not think I could have faced such a thing and lived when I was in Sasu. No! What the hell? Seriously? When I met you, you were like level 5. What the hell, Zachman? That is the understatement of the year. Come on, our journey awaits! Obtained a metal card, which is all you get. And if you talk to that sword again, you can fight him again. I don't want to do that, though. But let's take a look at that metal card. Wrong button. There we go. Let's go back to the item menu. I'm sure it is a key item. Where is... The metal card. There we go. Proof that you felled the Iron Giant. Awesome. And that's going to do it for this bonus episode, which I'm sure went long, of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I have been Boris Kuba. I have been joined, as always, by my victorious party of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman, our champions. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.